Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in the last video, we have written the entire utility classes for our project. If you haven't watched, I'll link in the i button in the description. So you guys can follow that. So these are where we left in the last video. Layout. And now we're going to start working on the layout. So first component we're going to work on is the logo one. So if I open that one, you can see we have already the JXX file and the CSS file. All we have to do is to write the code. So I will remove the code and let's import react and that's coming from react then we have to import the link tag coming from next.js then we have to do the internal import style from and that's coming from the same directory logo.module.css then we have to work on the logo components and that we have to return so we have to take a div it will have a class called style spinner and that we have to take multiple div one we have to take another one two we have to take a three we have to take a four, we have to take a five, and we have to take a six. And then we have to simply close that one. So this is the entire JSX we have to write and we have to simply export this component. So that's the only thing we have to do here because we're not going to use any images. We're going to write the entire animation with the help of code. So that's the entire piece of code we have to write here in the logo. Hope you guys have written that one. Now we're going to start working on the CSS. Come here. Go to the CSS file, empty CSS file for the logo. Let's start working on it. So we have to target the spinner class and we have to say width is going to be 70.4 pixels. We have to define the height the same. Then we have to use this method in that we have to define the call, the color. Then we have to define the alpha. It is going to be an RGB color. Then we have to define the background is going to be a linear gradient color. We have to come down, we have to define the animation, spinner, time and the infinite low we have to say easy so it will have a smooth animation. Then we have to define the transform style to be 3D prospective because our square will look like a 3D. So that's the first class for our logo spinner. Let's come down. We have to target the spinner. So we have a spinner and we have to target all the drifts. So we have to say background color is going to be our clip color alpha. 100% position absolute width is going to be 100% then we have a border 3.5 pixels solid then we have a clad color we'll come down we have to take the spinner div nth of type 1 we'll say transform translate z minus 35.256 rotate y and degree come down we have to repeat the same thing for the two we'll say transform we have to change the y directions and the x direction then transform origin to top right so here i'm going little faster with the css if you think i'm too fast you can simply adjust the speed so we'll target that and now we have to target the third one and we have to define the same transform and we have to define the origin so center left come down we have to target the fourth div We'll say transform is going to be rotate x degree and the y direction is minus 50%. Then transform origin is going to be top center. Then target the fifth one. We'll say transform origin rotate x minus 90 degree. Translate y 50% and then we have to find the origin bottom center. Come down we have to target the last div we have which is a sixth one. Transform and looks pretty good and now we add the keyframe for the animation so let's call it spinner that's the keyframe we have defined in the above so we'll say zero percent we want to be transform rotate 45 degree and rotate x minus 25 degree rotate y then on 20 50 percent we have to say transform 45 degree rotate minus 385 degree rotate y 25 degree then on 100 percent we have to just change the variable to 45 degree minus and the y is 385 degree so we'll have a beautiful square animations so this is the entire keyframe we have written for our logo so i believe you guys have understood that what we have done and how we have written the entire css for our logo so we have followed the basics pure css close this one this is the spinner div and then we have targeted all the child's direct child's by their end type and define all the animation and this is the spinner keyframe we have written for the animation so that looks pretty good 
now what we can do close this one and we are done with this as well so come here go back to the layout page and here we're going to import it so let's do internal import and this is coming from the let's say logo and it's coming from dot not dot dot we have to go into the components and from here we are getting that one okay so here we have exported all of that and that's what we are getting from here so simply copy that one and that's what we have to pass here simply remove bring this down and we have to pass our logo and this will work fine so if you save it if you save it come back to the application reload the browser and you can see here we have the animation looking absolutely perfect so this is how we're going to design the entire application we're going to break it down into a small components and we're going to simply build all the component here and then we're going to plug in our real pages so this looks absolutely amazing we have a beautiful animation going on now we can looks amazing so let's come back here so that's our logo components so we are done with this now we have to work on the other component so we have done with this entire logo component hope you guys are like it so that's the only thing i want to talk about in this video about the logo component hope you guys have understood that how we have written the css and how we are following the entire architecture of our application so simply close this one and with that let's move to the next video